So nobody should uh, get worried about the security of the country. Anybody who disturbs us will, will pay a very big price. When we were down there, showing uh, what we call in, 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 in tactics, fire and movement, fire and movement. I was very happy to see them move, able to understand the, difference, the different aspects of, of fighting. I normally tell, tell, tell fighters that if you don't know how to fight, at least you know how to eat, how, how to eat kalo, to eat millet. Because if you eat millet or, or mohogo without sauce, the one you could say, Wanyata. Abaganda Bagaman Kuria Maluma. We were Gamba Baganda. O Kuria Mereta Octariumva. But you talk Kuria Maluma. Huh? So, the same with, with war. You should never use just one, one element. You need to combine always different elements, like you combine kalo with, with, with sauce, and you put there salt, you add water for washing it down, the same with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the fighting. That's why we always talk of combined arms. So I was happy to see you in a small way and in a very short time able to integrate some of those elements when we were down there. As you have heard, these are well-educated young people, so they are a good, very addition to the army. So you, the army leaders, you should be clear how to utilize them. Some of them are really pro uh, professional, like the engineers, it is correct that after the basic exposure of the military and leadership, they join the engineering brigade so that they use their engineering, engineering knowledge. So are the doctors. I heard about two lines. Whatever man sows, that's what he, he reaps. The NRM, by providing education, that education is going to show up in, in so many areas, including the army. When you hear that some of the armies do well, like the Israeli army, which has been doing well, it's mainly because they are educated people. In the 1960s, when they were fighting with some of the people they were fighting with, you would get educated people fighting with peasants from the other countries. And they couldn't manage because technology, what? Quick learning. The only problem is that sometimes the educated become proud and look down upon manual work. But otherwise, educated people 
can make very good soldiers, they can make very good cadres in different areas. So this is one thing I would like to say about this group. And the other people are recruiting. Now, when we get some few mistakes, like what happened in Somalia recently, and what happened in Kasese, those don't, who don't know war start running up and down, panicking. But I can tell you that the security of Uganda is very secure. There were some mistakes in Somalia, and I was talking to the, to the commanders here about them. In Kasese, that part of the, of, the, of the country has been peaceful for a long time. And those people there were, were quite relaxed. Although there are still some gaps in intelligence, but all these are easily solvable. So nobody should uh, get worried about the security of the country. Anybody who disturbs us will, will pay a very big price. Congratulations, young people, and I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Parade Commander. Chapo Chauti! Mimi! Nina hapa kwa dini yangu! Kwa kweli! Kwa mba kenye kazi zote! Nitatumikia kumulinda raizi wa jamuhuri wa Uganda! Inchi ya Uganda! Na katiba ya Uganda Nitati sheria Na amuri zote zilizo tolewa Na zitakaya tolewa mara kwa mara Na waku wangu Walioko na wataka uwekwa Kwa utawala kwa inchi yangu Na hidi kwamba Nitafata mafundisho Na maelekeo Ya maofisa wate Na maskari wataka uwekwa Kuongoza mimi ni dhami nzuri Usoja Na uamnifu kwa inchi yangu Mungu walisaidie